Whether you're from the Quad Cities originally or not, chances are you played with a John Deere toy tractor as a child. Yes, you did. And now you can relive those days through a brand new exhibit that is soon set to open in Moline. Neil Dostrom is the branded properties and heritage manager for John Deere. Neil, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so this big exhibit, it opens on Friday, and we're looking back at 100 years of John Deere toys. Tell us all about it. Yeah, that's right, and and actually we have 112 years of John oh, Deere toys. Wow! Okay. Uh, but we spent about a year working on this yeah. exhibit. We started by a asking four collectors for their top 10 list of favorite toys, yeah. and we were really surprised to find out only one made all four lists. Which is really? wild. Yeah. Yeah. So that really got us thinking about what toys mean to people, yeah. and we spent a year thinking about that, researching it, talking to people. Yeah. Um, it sounds amazing. I and it would be hard to wrap your head around that there wouldn't be repeats. Right. On on those lists right. that just goes to show you how many toys came out over the years and like you said how special they were to people um, so uh, talk about what this exhibit will try and capture well you, you said it already it's about nostalgia this is really about right. relationships it's about memories it's about people talking to each other when we started thinking about this it was going to be a temporary exhibit mm -hmm. but everyone wanted to loan their toys yeah and That's everyone awesome. wanted to make sure they saw it and so this is a permanent exhibit That's awesome. there'll be some rotations in future years but there's a lot of toys to share very cool well talk about the exhibit itself yeah. the the actual space um, and and what it's going to look like yeah it's really exciting um, so it's actually being installed inside a full-scale replica John Deere toy tractor That's box. That's amazing. Really? So it will be immersive. Yeah. It's a modern-day toy tractor box. On top, we've replicated a 1960s toy tractor box wow. that um, the National Farm Toy Museum in Dyersville allowed us to photograph and meticulously replicate. That is so cool. I mean, there's so many little kids that are going to be so fascinated by this. And then, like you said, this just hits the nostalgia for sure. So share, share with us uh, some of the, the toys that you brought with that us today. Brought. Obviously, Lego really sticks out to right. us here. We've got Barbie. I mean, a lot of big names here. Uh, right, and, and you know, 100 plus years of toys. Yeah. It's everything you can imagine, some things you can't imagine. Yeah. It's local history. It's we've had three Legos over the last three years. Wow. Are what I call the vintage 2007 John Deere Barbie from the Pink Label Collection. I yeah. love that Barbie. <laughs> um, that is so cool. <laughs> Yeah, there she is right there. Yeah, and, and, and I think there'll be some surprises. This uh, toy car right here, mm -hmm. um, this is from the early 1990s, but it replicates a Deer Clark automobile built in the Quad Cities in 1906. Oh. That's amazing. And you know what? 1990s were a long time ago. I think we should all just accept it. <laughs> 30-something 30, 30 over here. And, and this one um, looks really cool, too. This one's an older one even than that. Right, and this is the only one that made all four lists. This is oh, a no uh, kidding. This is a Model A John Deere tractor um, built by so the Ertl cool. Company, one of their first toys. Yeah. This came out in 1947. Um, so it's incredible. It made all four yeah. lists. And this one's really special to us. I can imagine that it is. And you guys are even going to be doing a toy of the month. That's right. Next door at the John Deere store, they're yeah. helping us um, pick out a toy of the month. There'll be discounts every month. So we're really trying to tie a lot of things together. Yeah. So like you mentioned, this is going to be a permanent exhibit because you've already had a lot of interest in this, but it's not always going to be the same toys in the exhibit, right? You kind of have it on a rotating schedule? That's right. Most of these will be um, there, I would imagine, for six months to sure. a year. We'll okay. start kind of rotating some out. We have a, a special section on ride-on toys. One is a um, kid's wagon from 1912 that was designed to be pulled by goats or yeah, dogs. Yeah. My mom remembered having That's one amazing. in the 1960s. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we've got an, an electric toy gator from the early 2000s, wow. a pedal tractor from the 1960s. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that this really speaks to everybody. Yes. I mean, when you sit here and talk about this, mm -hmm. and I have a little one at home, uh, Everyone will think this is cool. Everyone will want to see these toys. I mean, a toy I, is a toy. I told Neil this uh, before the show, and I'll share it with you all because I shared that we did some spring cleaning over the weekend. Oh, yeah. I found a tiny little toy John Deere tractor, and Carson is obsessed. So we, we got to take him to this exhibit. It's, it's something any little it. boy or girl is going to love. So. Yeah. Well, uh, from the toy box, a century of John Deere toys. That's what it's called. It's opening to the public this Friday, May 17th at the John Deere Pavilion, located on River Drive in Moline. Admission is free. Yes. Uh, Neil, thank you so much. This sounds awesome. Thank you. I'm yeah. excited.